we're gonna discuss every single banner that is coming to global before the eight year anniversary but first it is time for the subscriber challenge now i want you guys to either pick heads or tails if you win then you win but if you lose then you lose and if you lose you have to subscribe because that is the challenge so big right now three two one go what's it gonna be it's gonna be tails so if you pick heads then you lose and if you lose you have to subscribe because that is the challenge on global right now as you guys know we've got the bardock banner if you summoned on this banner that is an l if you got the bardock that's a w but that banner is awful so i hope you guys skip this banner so after this banner for me at the time of recording this video it's not this saturday it's next saturday that we're gonna get the saiyan day banner which will be in place of this banner over here which is what we got last year we got this banner last year for Saiyan Day, and this year we'll get the brand new banner. It will be a global and JP same time celebration, same as this banner was in the previous Saiyan Day. This will be on March 18. We'll get the brand new unit, we'll get the banner unit, and most importantly, LR Trunks and Vegeta will return on this banner, and more than likely, Margin Vegeta will also return on this banner. So this banner will be pretty decent. Depending on what the brand new unit is, this could be a pretty good place to summon. So if you summoned here, that's an L, you should have skipped. This is the next banner, and you might want to summon, you might want to skip. Obviously, the anniversary banner will be better, but this is definitely not a bad place to summon. So right now, it's this, next, it's this, the Saiyan Day banner. Well, not this exactly, but it will be the new version of this, as discussed. And then after this... I think it will either be Golden Week or we might get a Door Confess first. If we get a Door Confess first, it will be Yamcha. And if we don't, then we'll go straight into Golden Week because it's only about one month apart. I think there will be a banner in between and if there is, it will be Yamcha. But firstly, we'll discuss Golden Week. And Golden Week, like Saiyan Day, will be on Global and JP at the same time. Last year, we got these two banners over here. So this year it will be the same thing, it will be a dual door confessed. Now obviously Saiyan Day and Golden Week are not guaranteed to be on Global and JP at the same time. But for the past year or two they have been at the same time. So more than likely it will once again be at the same time for both Golden Week and Saiyan Day. So like I said last year we got these two banners and on this banner we got the brand new door confessed. We got the brand new banner unit. And then the banners were also decent. On this banner, we got the new door confessed. We got the new banner unit. And the rest of the banner was also decent at the time. Tech Ultima Gohan is always nice to see on these banners. Honestly, this year, I would not be surprised if we see the return of Orange Piccolo and Ultima Gohan, the Beastless Gohan. In place of the New Year units, which was the Goku here and the Kid Buu here. Imagine their return. These banners could potentially be on par depending on what's on them with the eight year anniversary low key my boys my boys especially if they give us a dual door confess to ui goku and jiren with orange piccolo and gohan returning on those banners the potential is insane so as discussed right now is this banner and this will go away soon after that is saiyan day and then after that is golden week and then after that could be Yamcha. Yamcha could be before Golden Week or he could be after. Of course, these are only predictions, so I could be wrong. Yamcha's banner specifically, guys, please, please skip this banner. If you summon on Bardock, you're probably gonna summon on this. Let's be honest. This banner is better than Bardock's banner. So if you only had to summon on one, I would say summon for Yamcha. If you had to pick one. But guess what? You don't have to pick one. Skip the banner. Even if there's discounts, skip the banner. We've got Saiyan Day, we've got Golden Week, and then after that we have Anniversary. Why would you be wasting stones on banners like these? This banner is not awful. Ginyu is still decent. The Goku and Vegeta are I, I guess. They're not that good. But overall, the banner is really not that impressive if we're being honest. Golden Week and Saiyan Day will have much better banners. So why would you summon here and why would you summon here? Just don't. Of course, Bardock and Yamcha themselves are good units, but they're not worth the stones considering their banners. Yamcha Robi is also very good, so 
That's another reason why this banner is better than Bardock's banner. But still, the banner's not worth it. So skip your armature, 100%. If you summon here, you're taking an L. I'm sorry to say. And then after Yamshire, just before the anniversary, we're gonna get the 17th. Someone might say, but what? On JP, they came after the anniversary. So why would they come before the anniversary on Global? My reasoning is that last year, Ginyu was in place of this banner on JP, and then on Global, it came just before the anniversary. And they've been doing that for a couple of years now. But the first banner after the anniversary on JP comes to Global just before the anniversary. I don't know if that made sense, but the point is, this banner we can expect to come just before the 8 year anniversary. Again, the banner's awful. These guys are okay. These guys are okay. Pan's okay. These guys are okay. The banner's not disgustingly bad, but it's not good. Would I give this banner a 6 out of 10? I would say a 5.5. How about that? The banner is a 5 to a 5.5 out of 10. It's just below 6. Because 6 I would consider just about okay. And this is for me is just below being considered just about okay. The banner is a must skip. Even if there's discounts, the banner is a must skip. And then after this banner, we're going to go into the anniversary banners. And the anniversary banners are the best banners of all time. I mean, you can look at them right now. The two brand new units are really good. The GT Duo specifically are the best unit in the game. The LR Super Saiyan 4s, the LR Gods are here, MUI Goku over here and Blue Vegeta over here. We'll get their easy A's next year. Gogeta Blue and Vegito Blue are some of the best easy A's in the game. In fact, no, they are the best easy A's in the game by a decent margin. Boo Tanks and Vegito could be getting their easy A's sometime soon. The Gammas are here, cooler. The Goku and Vegeta, the banners are incredible. Easily the best banners of all time. Of course, the banner units on both banners are very mid, but aside from that, the banners are really good. And these are the place, these are the banners where you want to summon. Golden Week might be just as good, I doubt it, but it might be close. Saiyan Day could be sick, but we'll see what they have to offer. And then after these, for the part 2 of the anniversary, we're going to get these two banners, and honestly, I don't think these banners are worth your stones. Actually, to be fair, this banner specifically, this guy and this guy, whew, they are good. Actually, to be fair, this is not an awful summon, if we're being honest. Zamasu is good. These guys are okay. These guys are okay. I mean, it could... It's, it's, it's not awful. It's not awful. But I still... I probably would not recommend summoning here. But it's not awful. It's better... In my opinion, it's better than summoning for Bardock. It's better than summoning for Yamcha. I'll give it that. But it's still not the best. If there's discounts, that would be interesting. I won't lie. This banner over here, the Gohan... The Freezer, the Cooler, some decent units here as well. I'm not a fan of Goku and Piccolo. I'm not a fan of Goku and Piccolo, but they are also not a bad unit. So these banners are not awful. I wouldn't recommend summoning, but they are not awful. So these are the banners that we can expect to be coming to Global before the 8 year anniversary and during the 8 year anniversary. With that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then do subscribe, especially if you failed the challenge, because that is the challenge. Also, do leave a like and comment, because those things do help out. With that said, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.